Welcome back everyone, Eric with the Savvy Campers. Today we're gonna talk to you about proper thermostat operation and how the heater works in a travel trailer. Before we get started, uh, if you find this video helpful, please like it, subscribe it, and share it with your friends. And hopefully you can learn something that you didn't know before. So let's uh, flip around and show you how it works. Okay, so here you're looking at our thermostat for our furnace. And this is a Dometic touchscreen model. And as you can see, it uh, we've got a mode button and then we got temp up and down. So what we can do is click mode until we get to the furnace operation and then we can set our temperature to whatever temperature we desire, 73 degrees, and the furnace will kick on if it is below 73 degrees. Right now I think it's actually warmer than that so we'll need to actually kick it up a little bit more. And what we can do to actually look at that is we can turn it off, click these two buttons and see that our current temperature is 74 degrees in our camper, so we would need to set it higher. So on first click of the mode, we've got this fan that this fan mode that says auto. So we can actually turn it to high, low, or auto. And this operates the blower fan speed. So I always leave it on auto so it can determine um, if it wants to be on high, low, or auto depending on the temperatures. So we've got our AC and then we've got our furnace. So let's kick this up to 80. And then we hear a click and we've got our blower fan down here. Let me pull you off the tripod. So now what it's going to do is ignite the fuel. And then right now you'll hear the click and it's igniting and then it'll start blowing hot air. So now that let's pretend our heater has heated all the way up so we can go turn our thermostat to whichever, whatever our desired temperature is. Obviously we wouldn't turn it up to 80 degrees because that'd be really hot, but um, keep it at 70, keep it at 68, whatever you want to do when camping. And what's going to happen is it's going to basically do a shutdown on it since it just ignited. It's kind of like a lockout period. So the fan will run maybe for another minute or so to get all the heat out of the heating coils to be most efficient. So you can get all the heat that you basically burned with your propane and it's gonna do that and then turn off. That's why your fan doesn't turn off right away. Um, and then if you wanna turn it back on, that lockout period also makes sure that it doesn't kick on right away so you don't have any problems with Cycle, uh, short cycling basically is on off on off and that's also common in AC units so if you turn your AC on for a minute and then turn it off because you want to mess with something and try to turn it back on it might not turn back on for five ten minutes depending on the actual lockout period on that model so anyways let's pretend that we're up to temperature whatever we want so we can just go back to mode hit it off and then um, that's it so um, some tips on keeping your travel trailer more efficient when you are camping because propane is expensive and it will burn through a lot is um, when you leave for the day on let's say you're going camping just turn your thermostat off um, if it's below freezing you can turn it to 55 degrees or whatever you want to because it's pretty quick to heat up a travel trailer they're small units and these heaters burn pretty hot so you click it on and it'll have your travel trailer heated in five ten minutes so um, always turn it off when you leave or turn it down significantly another tip is when you're sleeping obviously we sleep um, colder bring another pair blanket or a sweatpants to sleep in and you can keep your thermostat we keep it at about 62 when we sleep um, we find that it does get a little hot in some areas and so 62 does work perfect for us and obviously it's a small area so our body heat keeps it heated quite a bit all right that is it that is how to properly operate your uh, thermostat um, as well as your furnace and a few tips and tricks. If you uh, found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to the channel for some more tips and tricks on anything travel trailer related and hope to see you at the campground. Thanks for watching.